Well, hello. So today we're gonna to be learning about the powder keg theory. Um, so first things first, we need to start off with what is a powder keg? So a powder keg is um, what they would use in colonial times to store gunpowder. Because at that time their muskets, which was their primary weapon that they would use, um, it requires uh, powder in order to fire a bullet. That's what makes that explosion um, if you've ever seen old school muskets, when they fire, they have that explosion. Um, and that's this, uh, this powder, this gunpowder that is coming out of the gun, which creates that um, force that needs to shoot the bullet out. So um, powder kegs were full of gunpowder. And these were a really common thing at those times. They'd be on ships, they'd be trade. Um, but as you can imagine, they were also a very dangerous um, resource to have around, a very dangerous um, commodity to have in your presence. Why might you ask? Well, if there's a giant thing of gunpowder on a ship or on a boat, if you're trying to sink that ship, just put some flames into that gunpowder and run far away. Uh, because gunpowder is very flammable. And so it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. So if you were ever to you know, light a fuse on a gunpowder barrel, get away because that thing will explode. So today we're talking about the gunpowder, um, the powder keg theory, which will build on that. So the powder keg theory is a theory about why the Revolutionary War started. And so what we do is we'll have different um, parts that will lead up to this powder keg getting more and more and more full. And so for example, if I had a powder keg that was just this full, or this full of gunpowder, it would sure, it would give an explosion, but it wouldn't be too significant. Versus if I had a, a gunpowder barrel that was pulled up all the way to the top, there might be a really large explosion, or it would just be a bigger explosion. So, on your page, if you guys are following along, you should have something that looks similar to this. And the bottom thing is the very first thing that happened that was a cause of the Revolutionary War, which was the French an Indian War, which as you have learned, was not a war between the French and the Indians. Yes, they were part of this war, but it was not them. Okay? French Indian War was fought between France and England. Okay, and yes, the Indians did fight, but they fought on both sides. Okay, um, so slowly start filling up this barrel. And then the next thing that happened was the, you guessed it, proclamation line. And again, you guys should be following along in your own books. Okay. So, what was the proclamation line? Well, after the French and Indian War, England won more land, and the colonists helped fight for that land. But the colonists, even though they fought for it, they died for it, they lost money for it, they were not allowed to move into that new land. Okay? And on top of that, because of the French and Indian War, Britain got into a ton of debt. With that, they decided, you know what, let's start taxing the colonies. And so what they did was they started with the Stamp and Sugar Acts. And the Sugar Act is also called the Molasses Act. But anything with paper, playing cards, uh, a deed to a house, uh, not toilet paper, but any type of paper needed to have a stamp on it. And then Sugar Act was pretty straightforward. Whenever you bought sugar, it now had a new tax. The next thing was the Townshend Acts. Okay. And the Townshend Acts put a tax on lead, paint, glass, tea. Ooh, I need one more. Lead, glass, tea, paint. And paper? I can't remember off the top of my head. What was it? Oh, I just gotta look real quick. Okay. 
Oh, I was right. Okay. And so after all these acts, then you have the real big one, which was the Boston Massacre, which as we have learned, wasn't really a massacre. But it helped us to learn about propaganda and how people will tell lies about other people to get them to, con to believe with you, to side with you, like the Loyalists and the Patriots, how they both had very different perspectives on this same thing. Um, so as you can see, our powder keg is slowly filling up, becoming more explosive, but still, it's not big enough yet to make that big of a difference. And then we get the tea tax. So again, with the Townshend Acts, tea tax was already a thing, but because there was so much rioting and boycotting and just disdain about the Townshend Acts, they repealed or they canceled all of those taxes except for one, which was the tea tax. And because of that, the colonists did not like it, and the Sons of Liberty, which were patriots, decided to sneak onto those ships and have the Boston Tea Party where they dumped 342 crates of tea. And if that wasn't enough, then the last thing was, well, there's actually two more things. The Intolerable Acts. And King George thought that this would push the colonies down, that they would just give up. But that is not the case, because right after that, they signed the Declaration of Independence. Okay. So with the Intolerable Acts, it filled up the powder keg. It is full. But that's not what it takes for a powder keg to go off. You need to not only have a fuse, but you need to light it. And the Declaration of Independence was what lit the fuse, and then there was an explosion. And over the past month and a half, two months, we have been learning about what that explosion was. That explosion was the cause of all of these different things. They all led to the Revolutionary War. And that is what the powder keg theory is. Is that all of these things built up over time. Small things build, 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 build. And finally, the Declaration of Independence. We are our own country. Boom. Explosion, which is Britain did not like that. And then they started fighting. So your assignment is I want you in your own words to explain to me what the powder keg theory is. Okay? Don't just copy and paste what I did, but explain what this is and what it led to, which is the Revolutionary War. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing your responses.